What's going on, Taurus? It's been a minute. Happy birthday. It's your girl, Miss Smooth. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you for the love, the you know, the support, the donations. Let's go ahead and get into your message, Taurus, okay? Happy, happy birthday. Okay. Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the love, the clarity, the downloads for me and Taurus that is watching. Please come through with the messages and only the messages that resonate as above, so below. Let's go. Taurus, today is a new moon in your sign, okay? So I will be pulling a few uh, hearts, hidden secrets. Let's see what spirit want to talk about. I'm going to just start off with the tarot. Get that out the way first. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross and then clear the board and do the oracles. Okay. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords. Can y'all see that? Okay. So Taurus, right now you could just be, you know, to yourself. Okay. Maybe you've been working a lot. You're thinking about taking a break. Um, Spirit is saying right now you could be making plans, but you're not sure if this is the right time. Even though it's a new moon today on May 8th, shout out to all my Tauruses that were born in April. Um, but I chose to do this reading today because this was a new moon. So I wanted that new energy. Okay. So there's something new um, that's hidden that's coming in towards you. And Spirit doesn't want you to um cause it cause a derailment that's what they're saying cause a derailment okay so they want you to take a break take a rest wait right allow yourself to relax if there's decisions that you're trying to make about a contract a job a person a place you know they want you to wait before you make any decisions okay Okay, let's see. That could be one side message or that could be this part of this whole message. Okay, clarify the current energy for the Taurus collective when it comes to their birthday. So, yeah, um, we have the seven of swords. Okay, it says not what it seems. Okay, so, you know, maybe you got some new things coming in, but you're not sure if this is guaranteed. Or you could have some sneaky ass people around you that, you know, thinking they're going to get away with stuff. Why are you fucking with Taurus? Why? Why? Why is these people being sneaky? What is this uh, hidden information? False pretenses? Portrayal? Oh, this is somebody you could be married to. Feminine power in reverse. Divine feminine is in reverse. Can y'all see that? Okay, so something's blocked. Your creativity could be blocked. Pay attention to your body. Are you ignoring something that, you know, okay. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so what Spirit is saying to me is that um, you're avoiding the red signs. You're avoiding the red flags. Either you're avoiding, no, you're ignoring the red flags. Oh, and this has to do with a divine feminine that, um, may be codependent on you. I don't know. If you are Empress Energy, okay, Empress, this is divine feminine power. Something about receiving, okay, so something you're receiving. Um, the conflict with this false information, <coughs> excuse me, somebody don't want me to talk. I haven't coughed in ages, okay? Hold on. Mm. Okay, thank you, Spirit. There's some type of false, um, something masked. Somebody's either not listening to something. Or there could be a blocked energy around you. Somebody that's trying to block you. This could also be a boss lying on you, trying to keep you, trying to keep you stagnant. <coughs> Excuse me. I rebuke it. Okay. So somebody could be trying to keep you stagnant. Try to make you feel insecure if you're in that boss energy. Um, this could also be contracts. 
somebody's trying to stop you from creating, manifesting. Um, hmm. What is the root of this problem for Taurus? What is the root of this problem, please? And thank you. Thank you, Spirit. What is the root of this problem? Ah, it is about work. Look at the Eight of Coins landed right on top of the Empress. So, uh, okay. So, Spirit is saying some of you are trying to get ahead in a job. Like, you're either trying to take on a supervisor manager position. Maybe you want to start your own business. For others of you, you're working on, you're working to do something. Um, this could be a promotion, a position. Okay, and you've been very dedicated to this uh, person, whether this is a business partner. Mm, I got to go get my other deck. Um, whether this is a business partner or a job that you work at. Um, this could also be partnering with someone. That's why Spirit is saying relax with the four swords at the bottom of the deck. Don't make any decisions, okay? Don't do anything. Just be quiet. Humble yourself and pray. That's what Spirit is telling me. Yes, they want you to continue to be that diligent worker, diligent. Um, if you're self-employed, they want you to be diligent at your craft or whatever you're producing. They want you to continue to work on things behind the scenes, but don't let anybody know about what you're doing, okay? What happened in the past to cause this um, sneaky in, uh, energy? Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? So this is an emotional imbalance. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. I'm sorry, not Aquarius. Taurus and Libra uh, energy here. Virgo, Capricorn. And I did, okay, okay, Aquarius as well. Yes, yeah, Spirit said Aquarius as well. So there could be an Aquarius around you that could be very um, sneaky and con conniving, a liar. Somebody could be talking behind your back, lying on you to a boss. Wow. Somebody doesn't want to see you move up. They don't want to see you move on. They don't want to see you... Um, do better than them. Wow. Clarify the Queen of Cups in the past. Why is this person codependent? Why are they acting irrational? In the past, you probably got overwhelmed or overly emotional. When it for some of you, this could be somebody that you got overly em emotional about um, at your job. That's a boss. Like when they did things, you probably you know lashed out or you know, became um, gullible or became extreme in, in your emotions. Like when, uh, say, somebody tried to put you on display or shame you in front of everybody. That's what I'm picking up. Spirit is saying that you probably responded in an emotional way. And that's not like you, Taurus. I mean, you get pissed off when people fuck with you. But... You know, sometimes you, you know how to move in silence, okay? So I have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, needing an outlet. So you wanted to take action to do something in the past. And I feel like this Queen of Cups energy here, somebody was codependent. They didn't, um, they could have stole your idea. Wow, you probably shared some information with this person. And they stole your idea, which prevented you from moving forward. Now, this could be the boss. This could be somebody that you work for. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah, two of swords, you know. And spirit is saying, stop. Don't cross. Going within, right? Don't make any decisions. This is a clear warning. I'm telling you, that's what I was picking up. Warning, warning about your job, about something you're working on, a project. I don't know. You know your story better than me. This is general. I am giving free, uh, not free readings. 
I am giving personals if you <laughs> sorry Taurus. I am giving personals if you're interested. If you feel like this story is yours, everything is in the description box. Okay, so <clears throat> mm -hmm. you got the lovers card right here. So this is definitely about connections. You know, somebody you you felt like was on your side, on your team. Somebody you thought you had, you know. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so this new moon is ruled by Venus as well in Taurus, right? So Taurus, Venus is bringing in a new moon. In order for a new moon to come in, right, that means that the old things have to be removed. So there might be emotional um, upheavals happening in order for this new partnership to come in. Spirit is letting me know that you do have somebody else that's going to be interested in you. Okay. Now, <coughs> thank God that my dose, it just went away once I got past that energy right there. So, you know, the lover's card is all about, you know, making decisions, making a decision, a choice. Like you always have a choice, you know, you always know how to be in balance. So spirit is telling me this is Gemini energy. Um, this is all about communication, right? Um, balancing things out, duality, you know, the worst and the best, you know? So it's like, and I'm glad that it's not in a reverse so this is some type of kindred spirit, somebody that you're connected to um, on a spiritual level. I feel like the truth is going to come out. <clears throat> the truth is going to come out. And you work well with others. It's not you, baby. It's not you, handsome, okay? It's this other person that tried to backstab you for your ideas. Like you went to this person. I feel like you were too dependent on this person to learn your job, maybe in the past. And I feel like spirit is saying that, you know, um, they, they, I feel like whatever the idea or project y'all was working on, they betrayed you. But the truth is going to come out. That's why spirit is saying, don't do anything. Just continue with the eight of coins to work on what you've been doing. Act like it doesn't even phase you because it really don't. Like when you do, um, I'm hearing malignant. Okay. I don't use that word that much, but I know what it means. When you do things that are sneaky, um, when you do things behind the scene, when you try to hurt people for no reason, like when this person hurts you, when you try to care about them or love on them or have a friendship with them and they hurt you to get a one up on you to, to take something from you, it, it's not going to last. It's not going to go well for that person. Okay, so focus your intentions on new relationships, new connections, new opportunities. Don't focus on what this person did because that's what your 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 intentions with this new moon and and it's in your in your uh it's in your zodiac sign along with Venus. This is all about new connections, right? So if you start focusing on this person, you're asking for another karmic cycle and you want this to be over. What's going to happen to them is going to, is what's going to happen to them. Okay. Let me pull, um, let me pull my heart, heart's hidden secret. Yeah. Because see, you have divine feminine at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So maybe, um, I feel like this person felt, um, they feel like you would take their place, even though that's not what you were trying to do. <clears throat> okay. Let me find out. Spirit, what was the Ace of Wands in the past with the Queen of Cups? What was this uh, lack of direction or many ideas? Okay. Some type of... Uh, what's hidden? Thank you, Spirit. What's hidden with the Seven of Swords, actually? Okay. So, <clears throat> we have perspective. I feel like there was a project that you was working on with this person. Why is the light like that? I hope y'all can see this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. It's better when I put it down. All right. So the perspective here is telling me you better off, 
right? So you probably seen like a different way of doing things and this person had a problem with it, okay? And I feel like um, there's some type of breaking point, final straw, overwhelmed, misunderstood, victim, soul, okay, lost soul, <clears throat> making mistakes. What is this about? If this person betrayed you and you feel like you had to take a loss, um, <clears throat> somebody could have tried to get somebody fired. I'm also picking that up as well. Um, <clears throat> and you're at your breaking point. You're ready to quit. I'm going to say this, I don't advise anyone to quit their job, but <clears throat> if you're working with a, a boss, because my throat is about to start acting up again, hold on. <clears throat> I don't advise <clears throat> anybody to, to quit their job, but this decision with the lover's card is telling me that you might have to make a decision when it comes to your work. Because you're at your breaking point. For some of you, <clears throat> you may have to look for something else and keep it a secret. But I do feel like you're going to find the right connection, the right job, the right plug. Um, yeah, the right plug. Uh, that's going to be better. And you're going to get paid more, Spirit is telling me. So you may have to walk away from this situation because it's not going to be resolved as long as this person is in a position of uh, being selfish and disrespectful. Okay, using their power and their authority to control and make people feel insecure because they're insecure. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Yeah, this person is spying on you. Social network, information and ways. Yeah, they stole some type of idea from you or they stole something that you had the perfect um, solution to and they took credit for it. <clears throat> I'm telling you, yo. Yeah, five of wands, personality clashes. That's why you and this person can't get along because they see you as competition. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of arguing, chaos, misunderstanding, you know, and that's going to make you lose your temper. That's why they say in the past, you probably did that. If you haven't, it will happen. Okay, what is the near future, please? I saw this one in a pop out, but I wasn't going to take it, but I'm going to leave it there for a second. Any other messages for the near future for the collective Taurus? You know, I didn't want to give this message for your birthday. Yeah, see, somebody needs to make a change and move on. Because you're employable. The chariot is here, okay? You have the uh, power to take... You, you have the power to have success anywhere you go, okay? This person doesn't make you successful. You already fucking successful, Taurus, okay? And I'm sending lots of love, okay? Page of Swords. Yeah, this person's playing mind games, okay? They're gossiping, being sarcastic, not speaking your truth. Yeah, as long as you stay in that position, Spirit is saying the only way you're going to change the outcome is if you move forward. Let me get one more. <clears throat> okay, yeah, have the strength, have the courage, okay? Believe in yourself, believe in your personal power, believe in you're smarter than this person, okay? Any person that hires you or any project that you get hired for as an entrepreneur, they're going to be lucky to have someone like you, okay? Because you're smart and you're intelligent and you're compassionate and you are, you know, a, a hard worker is what spirit is telling me with the eight of coins, okay? So they're going to lose a good asset. Clarify the chariot, please, in the near future. I feel like you will be moving forward because you're going to realize that this person is playing mind games. And, you know, it's like, 
I feel like it's going to get to a point where you try to have a conversation to try to balance things out and they're going to like annoy you by not saying anything. Very childish, you know, and they dare you to do anything about it because, yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? Lay your burdens down, readjust, release, reduce, get your priorities straight um, and prioritize your, your next plan of action. Okay. Yeah, spirit is saying don't try to fight this because it's it's meant to happen for you to move to something better. Wow. Yeah, Queen of Wands, my way or the highway. That's this person. Yeah. Too many irons in the fire. That's what spirit like too many too many spoons in a pot, too many chefs in the kitchen. Okay? And that's what they said with the five of wands. Uh personalities clashing. Okay, you're starting to see this person's true colors. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> okay, so we have the wanting moon here, gaining wisdom. Okay, you're going to realize more and more about certain things that's been going on behind the scenes. And it, it may require you to reevaluate your plans. So we saw the four swords at the beginning of the reading, and that showed that you need to take a break. So this may mean take a break. You have enough money saved for you to walk away from this job and get your peace and start applying to something better or doing this other opportunities that's going to come towards you. Okay. Have patience. That's what spirit is saying. Wanting moon is gaining wisdom. Something's gaining momentum that's going to come through for you. Okay. Clarify spirit. Another uh, advice for uh, Taurus, please. <clears throat> what other advice do you have? Thank you. Sorry. I didn't mean to bump the camera. Yeah. Walk away. See spirit is saying walk away. Okay. Release what doesn't serve you. Release what's emotionally unfulfilling. Time to move on. Let go. That's what it says. Okay. So this could be your confirmation for those of you who've been deciphering whether or not you should go or not. Spirit is saying at some point that you're going to get enough information to realize that it's better for you to cut your losses and realize that you have better options out there. Any other advice with the Eight of Cups? Spirit, as they let go, what's next? What's next, please? What's next for Taurus as they let go? <clears throat> what's next for Taurus as they let go, please? Oh, okay. So I'm going to pull from this other moon deck. I almost dropped the whole deck. <laughs> Hold on. I don't be having space sometimes. Yeah. Longevity and decision. You see? I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay. So it says decisions and longevity. <clears throat> Reaching a determination, a firm stand or decisive action that can alter one's path. You're being redirected to a better path. That's what's happening. You've uh, you've learned all that you needed to learn at this position that you're in at the job or in this connection. Um, what, but I do feel like it's about money. It's not uh, emotional. I feel like maybe you had like um, in the beginning when you first met this person, you had a good kinship, friendship, right? With the lovers being here, this was a soulmate. But you were put into this person's life. For them to show their true character and then karma is going to take over. Okay. It says slow and steady going the distance pacing oneself with the turtle here. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about the light. <clears throat> if you can't see it. It says, um, you know, they want you to have strength and, and courage um, and staying the course on a plan of action. Move forward. That's all I keep hearing is move forward. Okay, so that's more confirmation at the bottom of the deck. You might be a little and this is natural. This is normal. Okay, you're going to be upset. You're going to go through like 
all these emotions because something new, anytime something new is coming into your life or really trying to force its way into your life to get you to see, you get worried because you're holding on to the past. You get worried because this is your stability. This is what you know. This is your familiarity. But in order for something new to come in, we have to be willing to let it go, right? Especially when it's out of your control. I mean, you could hold on to it, but then where is that going to put you? Stagnant. That's why spirits say, look at it from a different perspective, okay? It says better off, okay? Happiness, clear headspace, right? You can think better. You could do better when you feel at peace. And I know because I have a, a daughter, she's Taurus. When she's all emotional and overwhelmed and frustrated because somebody not pissed her off and she's only nine, I have to get her in a quiet place. I have to talk to her. I have to take control of her emotions as her mother, okay? And and show her that when she calms down and breathes, because she gets she do hyperventilations and all that. She's very emotional, right? Because she wants things her way, my way or the highway, right? And that's what we saw with the Queen of Wands, okay? And I'll be like, you got to calm down and let's look at this from a different way. And once I get her to see, she understands. And that's the thing about you, Taurus. Once you get it, once you get that wisdom, it all makes sense to you to let go eight of cups and then you can let go of those things that no longer serve you right because it's like holding on to something whether you felt betrayed or you know you want to try to fix it okay so we have the world here it says end of a chapter i can't make it up end of a chapter achievement success sense of belonging accomplishment now i did flip it around but when i picked it up it was in the right so delays lack of completion you may feel like you know um you may feel disappointed you may feel disappointed because you wanted to, the project you was working on or the people you was working with, you really liked it there. You felt that at the top of your game, but you got this blockage here with this person because they feel insecure to your ideas. They feel insecure to your presence, your gift. You have the gift of making things happen, making things work. But spirit is saying, you need to look at this from a different perspective. That's why I flipped it around with the world card. This is the end of the line for you at this level in your life. It's time for a new chapter. Okay. So what's the next level? That's what I was asking earlier. What's next? Like, let's get with it. Right, Torvis? I'm really... I apologize. You know, I'm sorry that I had to bring this to you for your birthday reading. But it's something that could be happening in your life or already happened. And you're in limbo. And this is a confirmation message on your birthday month about what's next. You're turning a new age, right? You've reached your plateau, okay? And you, you're at the pinnacle of your career for some of you okay and you got people that feel threatened by you so spirit is saying okay you know i'm not i'm not, you're not here for them you're here for you it's time for you to go to the next level i see this sticking out okay any other messages spirit what's next what's next please what's next thank you okay so spirit is saying what next is this eight of swords energy is here along with this card, which is the five of cups forgiveness. Okay. Accepting the change. That's what's next. Ready to move on healing, letting go. I feel like there was a lot of stress at this job too. Okay. Because you was dealing with a drama queen. Forgive that person because they're insecure. When you know that people feel some people in this, a lot of people in this world don't feel valued. They don't feel valued. And you probably like, how? Like, I thought we were cool. Ah, ah, ah. But spirit is saying it's something that this ain't got nothing to do with you. The way this person treated you, it has everything to do with your finances. But it has nothing to do with the root of the problem because you were a good worker. 
they felt threatened by your work performance, your work ethics. You know, they they felt threatened by who you are as a person only because of their insecurities. And a lot of times that happens in the workplace. You know, you get you get with a team of people and you work with them and you thinking you found your family, your work family. You found a place that you could really strive in for a long time. And then you find out, oh, you cuckoo crazy, you psycho, you insecure, you got psychological problems, okay? And you in the position that you in? Wow. Yeah, that's why they say you're going to gain wisdom in this situation. And it's going to make you realize that you better off going someplace else, starting over. And it ain't always easy starting over. It ain't always easy. The negative thoughts creep in. And Spirit is saying they want you to let that go with the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? Overcoming the spear. Spirit is saying you're not going to be stuck for long, okay? It's part of, you know, the process. That's why we saw the turtle with longevity, okay? You got the Ace of Cups, okay? Holding back, repression. Turn into your intuition, taking care of yourself, self-love, self-care. Remember I said, I felt like this job probably had you, you know, a little stress. And you need to take it easy because you're a workaholic. I love you. But I got to tell you the truth, Taurus. Okay? Wow. I'm going to go get my um money reading, money and career um deck as well. And then I'm going to end your reading, Okay. If this message resonated with you guys, Taurus, it would be so helpful if you leave a comment, leave a like, you know, and if you are new, subscribe so you can get more messages. Spirit is working on me too. Like I'm planning on, um, hold on, something dropped. I'm planning on, you know, doing more readings, individual zodiac readings. Yeah, Eight of Wands, gaining momentum. I told you, you got 888. You got the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Didn't I tell you when you when you let go and and be okay, not okay with the situation, but make peace with the situation, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have swift progress, okay? So now I'm going to go get my other reading. I'll be right. I mean, my other deck for career because I want to see what's going on. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, this reading is eight of coins, eight of wands, eight of swords, eight of cups. You got eight, 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 eight. And the year is 2024, Taurus. Okay, 2024 breaks down to what we do math because you smart. I ain't even got to ask you. You already know what it is. 8888, eight, 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 okay? That's what 2024 breaks down to, the number 8. And Jupiter <clears throat> Jupiter is, is definitely in your energy for your birthday month. So it's like one door closing and another door opening. I'll be right back. <laughs> 